so the topic of discussion over here is the ventral posterior nucleus so as you can see the highlighted portion here that the ventral posterior nucleus lies between the ventral lateral nucleus and the pulvinar this is the location of the nucleus so within the ventral posterior nucleus so there is a termination of the ascending pathways from the spinal cord and brain stem that carry general sensory information from the contralateral half of the body to the conscious level that is cerebral cortex so what are these pathways which are carried by this nucleus from the spinal cord as well as from the brain stem these are the spinothalamic tracts medial lemniscal bundle and also trigeminothalamic tracts all these tracts are carried by these ventral posterior nucleus and the termination of these fibers are typically seen in the ventral posterior nucleus is highly organized somatotopically so an extensive lateral portion of the nucleus receives information mainly from the trunks as well as limbs via spinothalamic tracts as well as by means of medial lemniscal bundle so this is referred to as ventral posterolateral division so a smaller medial portion of the ventral posterior nucleus receives information from the head via trigeminothalamic tract this portion is termed as ventral posteromedial nucleus so ventral posterior nucleus has two parts here ventral posterolateral as well as ventral posteromedial and the afferents which are received by these nucleus are also different as i already mentioned just now that the ventral posterolateral nucleus of thalamus receives sensory information from the body in the same way the ventral posteromedial nucleus of the thalamus receives sensory information from the head as well as face by means of trigeminal nerve and between the ventral lateral nucleus and ventral posterior nucleus we have a small nucleus which is also called as ventral intermediate nucleus recent study reveals that this ventral intermediate nucleus is implicated in the oscillatory tremor generation in the parkinson disease and essential tremor which means this particular nucleus is actually responsible for suppression of the tremor that is the reason any pathology associated with this intermediate nucleus thought to be responsible for the generation of tremor in parkinson's disease that is the reason the researchers have been identified that stimulation of this part of the nucleus is responsible for suppression of the tremor in parkinson's disease so this ventral posterior nuclear group whatever we studied right now also receives taste information from the nucleus solitarius of the medulla and also vestibular information from the vestibular nuclei and this ventral posterior nucleus projects to the primary somatosensory cortex in the post central gyrus of the parietal lobe these are the efferents of the nucleus so by seeing this complex efferents as well as efferents what did we understand by the complex anatomical connections here all the sensations which are carried by means of ventral posterolateral as well as ventral posteromedial nucleus which are terminated in the somatosensory area of the cerebral cortex which is area 3 to 1 carries information like touch information related to body position information related to pain and temperature taste arousal mechanisms all these information are carried by this nucleus and as i already mentioned that the intermediate nucleus modulates tremor in certain pathological conditions so this is what we need to know about uh, the posterior nucleus which is ventral posterior nucleus